This is one variation of the 15 lead ECG. Lead placement remains the same as the 12 lead with the following changes. V4 becomes V4R by moving the electrode to the patient's right side of the chest, fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line. V5 becomes V8. Move the electrode to the posterior left side, fifth intercostal space, mid scapular line. V6 becomes V9. Move the electrode to the posterior left, fifth intercostal space, just left of the spine. Place the leads. Limb leads remain the same. V1, V2, and V3 will also remain the same. Place V4 to the V4R electrode. Place the V5 lead to the V8 electrode. Place V6 lead to the V9 electrode. And have the patient return to the supine position and capture the ECG. Disconnect the equipment and remove the electrodes. Relabel the ECG tracing, ensuring you identify it as a 15 lead. V4 becomes V4R. V5 becomes V8. And V6 becomes V9. You should also document any chest pain the patient is having on top of the ECG tracing.